Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, still the voice of hardcore boxing and it's Saturday 4pm. Uh, I went to the show last night at Tom Hill ABC at Denneby Miners Welfare. A good show, 12 fights. It was nice to see David Allen there as a trainer. Uh, he had his mate with him, is it? That young Danny, who's looking at going pro or summer. Nice to see them there on the boxing scene. And young Anthony Tomlinson, 11 and 0. Uh, I think he fights on Sky next month. Nice to see all them people there. And nice to see people that love boxing. It were packed out, and I were up on the gantry. And I enjoyed it. Um, there you go. I'm here. I'm out. I'm. Uh, I'm at work the next day and that's basically all the only people I bumped into. So, so, what can you do? It's one of them things, isn't it? Now, moving on, uh, moving on, I'm going out for a game of snooker in 20 minutes. I'm still waiting for me. Burris and Watt Q from David Bowen Q. Come on, David. Now you're watching. Hurry up with me, Q. But uh, my dad has given me a cue to use at the moment till I get my other cue, but I think I might keep the one I've got. But other than that, I'm all right. Uh, what I want to say is all them people that send emails in to me, I don't deal with the emails, but if it's an email that's not uh, a nasty, not threats, not going on about sexual things or not going on about drugs or saying that I'm schizophrenic and on tablets and off me head and <laughs> always going like that. Uh, I'm always doing, I'm always like that. It's probably because I've got cold and probably because it's cold in here. Is that on? It's not even plugged in. Uh, so I want to thank the people that send emails in, but I don't deal with them now. I've got a girl working with me called Carly who Hopefully, when I get her up here, I can just press this and go, ah, bring me a cuppa. You know, like uh, Mike Baldwin does. <laughs> well, she's going to be helping me out. So, any emails that come in, if they're not very nice emails, she's not going to tell me about it. All right, because they're not wrapping me in cotton wool, but there's this channel is, it's not just dependent, I'm not just, it's, I can explain it. There's more people depending on me now than just me. And of course I work with Dennis Donner and Mick Whale and other people, people around Dennis uh, who've got fighters and that. And it's, I'm obviously going to be the, the person that helps them move forward on social media because that's the way forward. But we don't do Twitter, except, uh, November the 2nd, I've been off Twitter since, and I won't go on Twitter again on my children's life. I'm not on Facebook no more, it's just YouTube, I can't be, I don't want to be sat at home on a night time when I've got my kids and just going like that on my phone and looking right out and I've got my kids on the tablets as well and that's not good is it? I don't want to have my kids and then when I have them they're, they're on the tablets, it's no good, I like to, I don't know, I, I can't remember the last time I watched a film with my kids without them wanting to get the tablets out, so I'm trying to stay away from that social media and just do the YouTube. But as regards the emails, if you're going to continue to send filth in, I'm not interested. I am also weary about emails that I get off people trying to build a relationship with me. You know, I do get them emails and I have to be weary of it because everybody's got a story, haven't they? And a lot of people want to block the channel. They want to stop it and they're not going to do it because the channel's up and running. And they have tried to stop it because I've heard back off people. They're not going to stop this channel. This channel will be out as long as I want to do it. Right? It's a non-profit making channel, but it's not costing me anything now. So, whew, only ways up now, isn't it? Or probably like that. I don't know, but I'm enjoying it. But there's people dependent on me now. People that are helping me out. And like I said, it's going in the right direction. And it's took 26 months to get to this day, so... I think I deserve a pat on back, don't I, really? Some nonsense that I have to put up with. It's awful. But what I can't abide by are people who are liars. And people that are listening to other people. 
So I'm going to reiterate, or whatever they call it, for the last time, anybody who's pretending to be me on social media is not me. If I've got anything to say, I say it on YouTube. I say it into my camera. Oh, I say it into that. I say it into camera. Now, that's how I get my point across. Now, what was that then? I can hear noises, man. I can hear noises. Keep hearing things. Keep hearing things. I'm going mad, aren't I? Right. Uh, so, if I've got anything to say, I'm going to say it into the camera, right? And if I say something into the camera and people are offended by it, I'm sorry, but I have to say it as I see it. For example, if you've got six fights and four of them are guys against losing records, I call that padding. But you can also call it bringing a kid on. Now, if I'm saying it's padding and it's harsh, I'll stand by that and I apologise, but I have to say that, that's how I am. But if you've got 10 fights, if you're 10 and 0 and 9 are padded, 9 have got losing records, what is that? Are we bringing the kid on? I don't know, it's very hard for me to get the point across without offending somebody. So we don't want to offend anybody here at Porky's Corner and we don't want to swear because, you know, out of 730 videos, is it, uh, we've swore in... I think is it 600 and odd or something, this is why we don't make any money. But the point I'm trying to make is we're going to try not to swear so, but I don't want anybody saying I'm going all corporate and company managed because I'm not. It's just that there's things happening behind the scenes and after yesterday it's, it's all good and it's not going to be cheap to, to, to sort of get the channel looking good but we've been doing everything wrong, I've been doing everything wrong but everything right, it's hard to explain, but my channel's different to everybody else, isn't it? And this is why I've got people helping me behind the scenes, it's different. We're not, I'm not going to piggyback onto Rob Tebbett at Boxing Social, because he's piggybacked onto Coogan, because he's piggybacked on Eddie Hearn, I'm not doing that. But people can say, well you piggybacked in with Dennis Hobson, aren't you? Well, how were we Dennis three year before I started this channel? Three year. So, I'd have done it from the beginning, wouldn't I? I had to see if I liked boxing, and I like it, we all me are. But, if anybody's got a problem with what I say on the channel, come and see me, and some people do come and see me. And I, re I like that, that's how it should, it should be. But, the channel isn't going to stop, it's still going to keep going on, and there's going to be more people who get offended and all like that. Well, if that's the case, I apologise. But I have to tell it as I see it, but, the same people, when they do well, I can also big them up. Look, if you go back to a show that Dennis did, I tortured his show, I hammered it. But then if you go and look at what I said about Tommy Frank on the last show, the trouble I caused were unbelievable, but I told it straight. The guy Tommy Frank thought were awful. And I told it straight. Maybe my choice of word weren't very good, but can't be seen to be biased, but I'm not going to be seen to be not biased just for the sake of not trying to be biased. Does that sound right? I don't know, I'm like that. But what I will say is the channel is moving forward now and I can't believe the situation that I'm in now. I can't believe it. And let's see if we can move it forward to the next level, which is probably going to mean getting more people watching. And I, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm the founder of this company. I'm not because... The, I started this channel with company. I started this channel with Rico at lead underscore right. Me and Rico started it together, and Rico couldn't. We couldn't. He couldn't do. He couldn't cope with it because he just got. We're not that busy, are we? But he's got a good job and he works long hours. So the last thing he needs is me on phone saying, "Here, Rico, I was putting that video up. I'm I'm in Eddie here, and he's put his shows a shocker." We all done padded fights on it. And it's like, I'm at work. So we, 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 he's still my mate. He's come and stop, stops at my house. So 
Rico helped me, so we, he was a founder with me, and then he just, he's decided it won't for him. Obviously, there's no money in this, is there? But it, Rico didn't do it for money, he does it for pa his passion, same as me. K Official were brilliant with me, they helped me. And obviously Nicola helped me, that was brilliant. But I'm on my own now, um, and everything that goes on channels to, is with me. It's, it's all my doing. No it gets done with our I say so. But people saying to me and starting relationships up on social media with people, making out their me, my advice to you is this. Get in touch with these people and just speak to them on FaceTime. Because let me tell you this. I get sent emails of people and I wish them all the best. But there's also at the back of my mind when Carly sends me forwards me these emails that are nice that do I trust these people and what is their story? There's always that at the back of my mind. Because there's only a select few I trust and if I do trust you, I give me a WhatsApp number. Until it's time not to trust you. Alright. So because like I said, there's a lot of people they want to bring the channel down. Or they want to accuse me of doing this and that. So if I've got anything to say it, testicles one two testing. I'm gonna say it into the channel, aren't I? That, by the way, doesn't even work, I don't think, no more. I don't know if it's ever worked. So, alright, so that's basically it, really, all I wanted to say. Uh, but as of yesterday, I didn't get a chance. I went, I've been up two days, I went to that show yesterday. I want wired up on drugs or anything, I'm just not sleeping. So I've been peeing blood lately, I'm coughing blood, and I'm peeing blood. So I am being really very well, and I went very well yesterday, I didn't really want to go do that show. But I went, but I feel better today, I've had a good sleep, and I'm... Um, this is my favourite aftershave, lot of cost. I'm going out now for a game of snooker, see me pals. Go see me pals and uh, have a bit of man time, I don't think I've come out with any money to be honest. Oh. Just to take the edge off, so when I get there I can drink water in front of my mates because they don't watch boxing, they hate it. They don't watch this, I mean how sad is that? They play snooker and work at Polypipe, that's it, that's their life. So when I drink water playing snooker they're all going to say, bloody hell Porky, can't believe you're not drinking well. Down the arch. Well, that'd be, you've got to have a treat every now and then, haven't you? I always feel that I go for my shots when I, if I've had a whiskey. I don't know why. It must be. Uh, I don't know, but I don't want to talk. I don't want. This must be from Aldi, it don't work. Now, I don't want to talk rubbish, but it is what it isn't. But the channel's going in the right direction, so I want to thank everybody for following it. It's been a long time to get to this stage now. What this is here, these are the stages that we've gone through to get to where we are now. It's going to take me longer to build it up because... It's going to take longer because... I don't get access off everybody, do I? No, well, I know what happens when I go to boxing shows. I know the people who want to speak to me and who don't. But how people in the boxing industry play it, they say, oh, I don't want to come on channel. Uh, we're, we're, uh, I've got some on. Now, these same people who are saying they don't want to come on the channel because they've got some on, what they, t what they really mean is, we don't want to come on channel because the end result for us is to get on Sky. Do you see where I'm coming from? The end result is getting on Sky Sports. So, they don't want to come on the channel. For example, David Allen. David Allen used to live at back of me. He used to come on the channel. He used to come out for meals with me. He used to go out in my car with me. And I've had David Allen, while I've been driving, I had this Mazda Sports. Fastest car I've ever had for a diesel. David Allen in back. Ingram Jones in front. Filming me while I'm talking. And I guarantee you, every time he asked me a question, I said, I don't know, we've got David Allen in back. Ask David Allen. 
he was ducking down. He don't want to be seen near me. But when it looked like Eddie Hearn didn't want to know him, we had David Allen up to up to Dennis's office. And it was nice to see him and he's a likeable kid, he's very funny. But I can understand that. But I'd give people more respect if they say, look, what it is, Ross, we like your channel and we think you're funny. But we don't come on because we want to get on Sky. We don't want to be associated with you. And that's the power that Eddie's got. And I know that more than anybody, don't I? But let me tell you this. We've had three billboards up now, haven't we? Three. The next one I do, when I've saved some pennies in my whiskey jar, I put my pennies in this. Well, I think pennies, yeah, I'll get pennies in that. When I save, when I save, um, uh, Dennis got me this. No, that's uh, when I save my pennies up and we do the next billboard, I want you all to be a part of it. I want you to send me ideas, what, what you want me to put on. I want you to send me your ideas, what you want me to put on. Because this channel is for hardcore boxing fans, so you all have a say in it. Now, have I got a phone? Where's my phone? I'm losing stuff. Uh, you all have a say in it, right? This channel, you all have, it's down here on charge. You all have a say in what's happening on the channel. Now, obviously in your channel, but I want everybody to have a say in what's going on. It's for hardcore boxing fans. Now, Carl has sent me an email off somebody today, right? And he's apparently got his own channel. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to phone this kid up now. I'm going to phone him up. There's never a pen in it. There's never a pen when you need one, is there? Got a pen, so what I'll have to do is try and memorise it. I'm going to phone this kid up now, and we're going to see if this kid is genuine because we don't know. Right, here we go. Uh, five eight five five two. What I'll have to do, I'll have to email. Uh, me mate this number. Oh, I'll we'll just email him Mick Whale then. Uh, Mick will say, what's I sent this number for? What's I doing? Uh, oh, so, uh, I'm going to tell him. Uh, Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to phone this kid up now, we're going to talk boxing, we're going to see if this person is genuine. If they're not on WhatsApp, I don't usually bother with it because there could be anybody on a dummy account, couldn't they? Uh, so we've got that bit at number, I have to do it in two sets because my memory is going 5 8. Sorry about that, I've just had to send you this number so I've got it saved in my phone so I can now get it, get it to go onto the phone because I don't know what I'm doing. No, I'm not off my head either. Alright. Alright, here we go. Uh, what can we talk about? Right, now I've got the number in the phone, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create new contract, right, because this name I think is dodgy, let's have a look, has he got WhatsApp, no, do you see what I mean, this is what you're up against, so if I ring that number he gets my number now, doesn't he? See what I mean? Who haven't got WhatsApp in this day and age? 
who hasn't got WhatsApp in it. See, this is what we're up against here. And then they get my number, then they put it on Twitter, don't they? That's what I'm up against. Now, you may remember that my number, I had to change it a couple of weeks ago. I gave a certain person this number, right? Because I was changing my number. But I needed the kick up arse to change it. And he gave me the kick up arse. We put it on Twitter. So, Terry Chappendama, who came in my office a couple of weeks ago, he sat in here and he, I said, well, what, what am I supposed to do with all this here then, Terry? Do you know what his exact words were? Tell them to F-U-C-K off. That's what he said. Tell them to F off. Why do they need to be sending you this and that? It's, it's time cons. It's just a waste of time, isn't it? So I've got a, girl, a young lass now who's dealing with it all. Do you know what I mean? She deals with the riffraff. I'm not saying it's riffraff, sorry, I mean, she deals with the emails, and most of them are riffraff. If I could just point the camera at the stuff I get sent, you would be unbelievable. You would think, oh my God. No, I've just said, it's a number that's been sent on my email, and he wants to, to come on the channel, but it's not on WhatsApp, is it? So I, I don't trust them numbers, do they? Because when they're on WhatsApp, I ring them on FaceTime, don't I? And I get to see who they are. And if they say to me, oh, I don't want to come on FaceTime, Porky. Well, 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 I like to know who I'm talking to, so... Sorry for sending you, but I had to get the number off that to get it into the phone. Look, it's a, it's a long story, but it don't matter. You don't understand boxing, do you? All right, have a nice day. So, well, that's about it, really. Uh, I'm going to sort all the videos out for tomorrow. Uh, I've sorted most of them out. It's going to be Sunday 6pm, the Tom L ABC show. Uh, it was a good show, I enjoyed it. Uh, I thought Dave Allen's fight had just nicked it. But of the three rounds, it's anybody's isn't it, three two minute rounds. So I thought he just nicked it, but it was nice to see him all. Didn't speak to me though, but it's nice to see him getting on and doing well. But I'm doing this channel not to make any mates. The mates I've got, I'm happy with. I don't need any new friends. So people saying they want to come and have a drink with me and all that. It's all very nice and well. If you want to come and meet me, I'm flattered, but I'm a nobody. I'm a nobody. I'm an ex-convict, right, being in prison over 10 years, over a, just over 12 and a half year period. Right? You don't need to meet anybody like me. I'm no special. I'm from the dregs of society. My father was a miner, coal miner. So I'm nothing special. It just so happens that I've got a boxing channel that's a bit funky and I work behind the scenes with a boxing promoter who's got a bit of class and he's obviously people have their own. People assume, don't they, and make things up and give Dennis a, they tag him as a gangster because he's a scrap metal dealer and that's pretty cutthroat if you think boxing's a cutthroat, Jesus. And he isn't, Dennis has never been in trouble in his life, he's a businessman and it just so happens that I got on with him. We have our ups and downs like you could never imagine and I've called him some horrible words and said some horrible things to him, I've called him a bully and a C-U-N-T and and all sorts and screamed and ranted and raved like a raving lunatic in his own penthouse in Jersey screamed and ranted and I've do, I've, 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 I'm gonna lose cannon aren't I but there's another side to me that Dennis likes and he's never laid a, never laid a, laid a finger on me but obviously we did have that bit of an incident in Bulgaria where he punched me there and winded me so I had to get him in an headlock didn't I then he punched me again when we were rolling about. But other than that incident, we're, we've, uh, we're all right, aren't we? We have four hearts, don't we, like anybody. I dare say that there's people who don't speak to Dennis now who fell out with him. I mean, Chris Smedley isn't speaking to him, is he? And I like Chris, and I've had one fall out with Chris. But he's a nice kid and he's a good trainer. But he's not in, on social media. In fact, look, look at that there. That's the last thing I was looking at yesterday. Right, that's the last thing I was looking at yesterday. That's in my shed in my old house at Cunnisborough, and it's got 
nearly nearly 1620 videos 1620 views right that i was looking at that yesterday thinking about chris and he come to see me chris come to see me at uh when i lived at Cunningsborough. come down for a cup and we went for some breakfast up at ellaby at truck stop and we chatted boxing in there and pff, brilliant and then a few months later i flipped my lid didn't i but I think people fall out and it's how you carry yourself, isn't it? Me and Dennis have had... F how many fallouts have we had now? Four, I think. We've had four fallouts. One of them, I left him in Leeds. Drove off in his car, left him in Leeds. He had no money on him. And, uh, oh No, sorry, he had no... He had no right to get... He came on one train. I drove off in his brand new car, Q7, and I... Blasted it down motorway. I was that angry, I ended up in Selby. And I've got to get to Derbyshire. So work that out. Now, sometimes, sometimes it don't go on who you are or how much money you've got or anything. Friends fall out. And it's about putting that right and then moving on, isn't it? And I wish that everybody could get on in boxing, but we can't. Because there's some people in boxing that want to get everybody at it. So the point I'm trying to make is... If I've got anything to say on this channel, on, about boxing or anything, it isn't nothing I wouldn't say to your face. Alright? I've heard that Dean White's going to pull me, because I've said that he's not Dean White. Well, Dean, you'll get your chance next month at your call. And I'll still say to you then. And he'll go, have you got a problem with me? And I'll say, well, I've mentioned it on the channel. Oh, that was it. When Dean White, a.k.a. Dillian White's brother, whether he is or whether he ain't, who cares? But when he pulls me and says, what have you been saying about me on your channel? I say, no, that nobody else, has, nobody else hasn't said. Well, who's that kid? Is it Danny Flexen? He interviewed him and put him on straight. Are you Dillian White's brother or not? But he didn't follow up with question, did he? He went, oh, yeah, I am. I'm Dillian's bro. I'm his bro. We're bros. He went, oh, okay, it's just that people are saying you're not. I wouldn't have put it like that. I'd have said, Dean, are you Dillian White's brother? And he'd have said, yeah. And I'd have said, right, well, show me proof. That's how you follow up with a question. You don't do it like Umar IFL Umar said when he went, oh, uh, then uh, Eddie, uh, a member of the public or something, meaning me. I sent this to Coogan uh, regarding, and, and Coogan said, I said, Coogan, are you going to ask Eddie about this? And he said, uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll ask him. I'll, and it, were, it wasn't Coogan who asked him. It was Umar, I, I keep calling him Umar, I fell Umar. It was that Umar, innit? Look, we know what Umar is, don't we? Right, you know, he's, he, should be back, he should be in school, shouldn't he? He's just a kid hanging around boxing. He's, what, he, how old is he? About 16, 15, look, Omar asked him, he went, oh, he didn't ask him though, he went, oh, Eddie, we've been sent this. So he never read the question out what I asked, Coogan. Coogan, bang out of order, I'll see you and pull you. He never read it out and Eddie went, oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, that's me, Sir Edward, uh, uh, Sir Edward, uh, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 we're, we're doing our best to strive and move forward. Or whatever it were, what it meant is F-U-C-K off. That's what it meant. So, whiskey kicking in now. Whiskey kicking in. But, point I'm trying to make is this. If we've got anything to say, we're going to say it on here. We're not going to say it in a tweet called somebody else. All them people trying to make out the porky cor Porky's Corner on Twitter. I want everybody to just know that it isn't me. Or people building up relationships with boxers saying they're me. I'm me, right? Let me tell you this. If I've got out to say, it's gonna go on here. It's gonna go on here on camera. I'm porky, all right, me. No one else is porky. It's cause I'm slim. So that's about it really, but social media is a cesspit. For, and it needs policing and doing properly. People, right, 
giving other people bullets to fire winds me up off the clock right winds me up but like I said we all know where I went last night and like I said 